So next I'll give the microphone to Bartos, who's going to show you how to um, map this uh, .h5 model onto STM32 code. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, please start uh, CubeMX. So all of us, uh, we have uh, IoT boards in front of us. Uh, L475 uh, MCU is on the, on the top. That's why I propose to start from the new project from access to board selector here, just in the middle of the screen. So please click it. Okay. And you can see the board selector window. And within part number search bar, you can just enter IoT text. And there is very simple selection. The only one board is visible. So just double click on part number, BL47. And let's initialize all peripherals with default mode, just to speed up the the workshop. We are really li limited in time. Okay. This is the MCU view. And the second goal of the initia initialization is to show you uh, how much external peripherals, how much external components is on the that board. We have a uh, uh, Wi-Fi module, we have a Bluetooth, a lot, lot of sensors, including proximity sensor external QSP memory, etc. Okay, so this is CubeMX. We need additional software because AI, in fact, is extension of the CubeMX. So here is a hidden option. I agree with you, it's not so well visible. Uh, so please click it. And we can see a lot of uh, external components to make the screen uh, more clean i suggest to pr to check this option artificial intelligence and now we can see only two items okay so i will unroll and we have considering that we have one one software package uh, we have two items core and application and uh, if you are already experienced with uh, some protocol stacks like Bluetooth, LoRa, Zigfox, whatever, you know that we have protocol stack and protocol stack it is equivalent of core in our case because core in this case it is AI library, it is object, an object, so closed library, message, key message for you, for your customers and the debug capability of uh, this library is of another message for you <laughs> uh, so we have we have protocol stack I mean core AI library and we need application on the top as for Bluetooth ex exactly the same configuration so let's check the core to let cubemix generate the, 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 the AI library and select the application and uh, cubemix is proposing three different applications system performance validation and application template so system performance it is a simple application to show you the uh, the performance i mean the execution time for the neural network runtime in the uh, neural network world wording uh, terminology uh, we can say the eg the time of inference uh, so we can skip this application because there is no connection, there is no feedback to PC, any feedback. There is a validation application, so we will use this application and we will be able to validate the real network running on real silicon. I will explain later on what does it mean, validation. And uh, so let's select this validation. Application template, this is just empty application cons consisting of uh, AI library only and some uh, API <coughs> interface. It is the case of your customers. But now we are really squeezed in time, so we cannot do it from scratch. Within the mm, resources inspector here, you can see additional software item. The, the, the next item. And when I click, I can see XCube AI. So please click on it. 
and we need to again check both components uh, uh, core and application and please don't ask me why uh, we need to proceed such a way uh, but I hope uh, I'm sure that in next version it will be fixed so don't worry uh, and uh, we will be uh, we need also the uh, uh, the output window to see the debug output the debug output so window outputs and let's increase okay so the user interface is already configured and what's next how how do you think we will be migrating the neural network model to c code okay so let's add network but before uh, let's define the model kind uh, as guillaume uh, has mentioned just uh, before a few minutes the kind of industry st standard it is a tensorflow and keras high level library on the top so we will select Keras. This is another key message for you, for your customers. And we have ready model because we will simulate the updating, the tuning of, of, of the customer uh, network, customer model. And in our case, the customer project, customer model uh, uh, will be taken from uh, function pack because in fact, function pack is marketing name function pack it is just a set of examples of application okay so saved model and then we need to navigate to the to the model we can do it uh, in two ways uh, first one is i would say classic one just by clicking browse and navigate navigating to the to the particular file and the second one is to uh, um, by using uh, windows explorer and by dragging and drop the the file here in this area so i will show you the second one as a modern one uh, step by step don't worry this is uh, but be careful this is uh, quite tricky part so there is a root folder on the paper so please go to this folder and within this folder you can find stm32 cube function pack sensing1 v.2.2.0 root folder on the paper and then stm32 cube function pack sensing1 v.2.2.0 okay let's enter this repository again stm32 cube function pack sensing one then enter middlewares st stm32 ai library asc audio scene classification models indeed and session keras mod this is the audio scene classification model very simple network tens of neurons and we can drag and drop it okay what's next we have model and we would like to uh, it is already trained it is already trained the another key message for you very important uh, the 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 cube mx a cube ai sorry uh, it is a converter it converts uh, the pre-trained and the keyword is pre-trained model to c code so it means that the model is somehow frozen it cannot uh, learn more at least today for the for the current offer by yes by some workstation gpu strong uh, computation power uh, power machine okay so we we have model uh, based on python and then we are migrating it to c code so the very important step is to check uh, if it fits within our microcontroller so we need to analyze indeed let's analyze 
Okay, so we got one strange number and two well-known numbers. The strange number is here, complexity. MACC means multiply and accumulate complexity. It is a number of multiply and accumulate operations to perform uh, the, the, the execution, to perform the infer inference of the model. Why mul multiply and accumulate? Because behind the neuronal network there is a neuron. And the ne mathematical neuron model, it is a lot of uh, multiplications. So we are, we are multiplying the input value and weight of the input and then we are sum it up. That's mul why multiply and accumulate. And the next two numbers are well known. So the flash occupation is 30 kilobytes and the RAM is 18, about uh, 18 kilobytes. It is very small uh, model, as I mentioned, just, to just, ju ju just for a workshop purpose, but in real life, for sure, you will meet the big models for image recognition, uh, some computer vision, etc. And customer can complain of the price, a microcontroller, or can complain of external flash, but there is a solution. But before, let's validate this, this, this model. Okay, so uh, there is a error level 0 0.01 and we are far from this uh, border. We got some quite nice numbers. So everything is okay. But next key message for you. This is keyword, relative error. What does it mean that error is relative? It means that we are comparing the results for the ideal model, for the original model uh, running uh, in Python on PC, to simulated model in C, also on our PC. So this is relative error. The base is the original model, the, 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 Python, the Python running model. And we are uh, doing this uh, validation, this comparison using random numbers, random input values. Uh, this is due to our limited time. Uh, of course it is okay, but a little, little bit, I would say, better method is to use uh, custom data. Uh, we cannot do it now, but in real life we always have custom data because the, the key point, the, the key step for the development of neural network is data set and and this is the value in money this is the value in money because the the, the structure of the neural network the, the number of neurons it is also important but uh, believe me to, to gather data set this uh, as Guillaume mentioned for this audio stream classification for very simple network the input data set uh, it is 20 gigabytes of raw wave files so to gather it it's a really big job and very expensive Okay, let's keep that ram random numbers. So we are okay, but let's assume that the model is really big and we want to provide to customer solution of, th of the price problem. We can compress the model. Let's select compression by four and analyze again if we are still, if we, we can fit within the resources. So the complexity didn't change. It's I think uh, it is it is expected because we we are playing with the same model, but the flash occupation dramatically drops, but almost by fifty percent. So that's the solution for you. Of course, not always it is fifty almost fifty percent, but kind of solution. But this model is somehow squeezed. Uh, so let's validate it again on the desktop if we are still within the error range or below the error range. We are okay. The numbers are a little bit much worse, but it is still okay. So we can stop and uh, play with the network now. And this is network, it is the equivalent of protocol stack. This is our core, so we need to configure application. Let's go to the platform setting settings. The application is very simple. Uh, the debug output is uh, usert, so let's select usert and 
the number of the uh, the number of the user is uh, it is user one. Okay, that's all regarding the network and application of the network. Let's uh, verify the clock configuration. The, the clock frequency is uh, maximum for this micro is 80 megahertz. You can lower it up to you, but I would keep it. And then project manager to configure the to enter project name. Uh, please follow m my my name validate underscore nn and skip this number because for me it is number of the session to separate the so validate underscore nn then select the, the the target folder i i need to keep my folder but on your side please click browse and select any folder Okay, and let's keep uh, EW Arm V8 because you had it al already because of security workshop, L5 security workshop. So we will use IR. And the last step is to extend the heap size by, by zero. So to change the value of the heap size from 200 up to 2000. But this is particular setting. It is related to this particular application only. So don't worry, it is not related to the QBI library because we have set of uh, buffers in RAM so so and please be careful to not mix the heap with stack so 2000 on the SFRS value L that's all let's generate code and open project Okay, so the project is open and within Project Explorer, let's start from the application folder uh, and user subfolder, double click on main.c. I will show you how the, the application is simple because this is just one line. Let's go to the main loop, the line number 132. So this is one function call. That's all. MX X cube AI process. Library is located under lib folder, and as I said, this is an object without the back cap capability. What about API to the lib? It is hidden behind the middlewares. So let's unroll it. Then middlewares st. Ah, let's start uh, in the meantime just to save a time the building f7 please press f7 <coughs> okay so middlewares st ai ai okay and we have two subfolders data and source and we start the uh, the explanation from the data subfolder there is only one file network data i will open it and you can see an array consisting of a lot of numbers. Yes, coefficients, but in, uh, in ne neural network wording, weights, weights, weights. And uh, this is very important part of the, of the application because we can call it as a meta program. Why? Because all the function, most of the functionality is hidden behind those numbers, those weights. This is our program from the learning process from the Keras, and uh, yes, and and the and the model file. This is uh, I didn't mention it. Uh, the, the the extension of the model file it is .h5. This is hierarchical data format. This is generic format uh, developed by NASA according to my knowledge to store the data from the satellites, the map data, a lot of hierarchical data. And so this is not related to the neural network itself. Okay, so this is our, so the first real value, it is data set, and the second real value, it is here, the, 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 the weights, the, the coefficients. And uh, we can migrate, uh, the, uh, of course not on this level, but on the, on the Python level, we can migrate already learned uh, layers between models. So for example, model A consists of N, layers 
and M of layers are exactly the same like in the second model. So we can migrate. I can show you, uh, we can migrate particular layers already, already, already learned to the destination model. I can show you s such a script uh, after the workshop if you are interested. It's very simple, just several lines, that's all. Okay, API, Application Programming Interface to the, li to the uh, AI library. So the second subfolder of middleware is source, network.c. And let's open the header file. So line number 23, right click and open network.h. Okay, and here is the very nice definition. We can see <coughs> input tensor and output tensor. I know it sounds uh, strange, the tensor, uh, but uh, behind is the explanation is very simple. It is multi-dimensional dim array. That's all. And for the input tensor, we have those two numbers. 30 and 32. In fact, our convolutional network is recognizing the... What? The pictures. We have picture. And this is the resolution of the picture. And uh, because we are recognizing pictures, we are transforming uh, from the time domain to the frequency domain, uh, there is some issue, maybe not issue, feature behind. We need to gather a data. So uh, the conclusion is that we have time quantum. We need to, uh, so every, every second uh, in, our in this particular case, because of preprocessing, because of collect collecting of the data, uh, every second we can, we can perform the inference of the, of the network. Okay, so this is input tensor consisting of the, 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 the resolution of, the of our picture. And this is output tensor. And here is three. We have three classes, indoor, outdoor, and in vehicle. Okay, so input and output data structure. And what about the network? We, we need three steps. We need to allocate the resources for the network model. So to allocate the RAM. So we need to create the network. Then we need to init the weights so, uh, and, and all the layers. Uh, so we need to init the network. And the third step is run the network. That's all. OK, and, and those functions you can find below. Uh, so network create, and then complementary function network destroy, then network init, and Network run. That's all. Very simple. So two data structures, input and output, and three functions. Let's flash the board. Project, download, download active application. Okay, and start terminal. The communication parameters are exactly the same like during uh, first lap, so uh, 115 kilobits per second. I will start from the font setting to make the uh, visible screen. Then new connection. I'm selecting the ST-Link related virtual com port. And set up serial 115 8-bit character. Uh, without parity, one stop bit. And I'm pressing reset. And what is the conclusion? Yeah. It's very simple. We need to close the terminal. To free the, to free the, 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 the COM port and, let, uh, and to let uh, CubeMX perform the action. So let's come back to the CubeMX because now we will validate our network on the real silicon using, co using USART communication and virtual comfort. Let's come back to the CubeMX and pinout and configuration tab and then network tab within the network staff. Now we can validate on target. So we are comparing the, 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 the Python model as a base with model, real model working on the real silicon. 
So let's configure the, the COM port again. So COM port 8 in my case. OK, and process just started. It uh, takes a uh, little bit more time because we have additional communication. It is 115. In next release, I think it, it will be possible to increase the speed. OK, so the time is a little bit uh, longer, but we got more data. And now coming back to the convolutional layers. You can see here the time of execution layer-wise. So 33, almost 33 milliseconds for convolutional layer 1, 42 uh, for layer convolutional layer number, number 2, and uh, all the rest of the layers are not so, sig uh, the, the numbers are not so sig significant. I would say we can skip those numbers. The significant impact is on the convolutional layers, because in fact, as I said, it is kind of reduction of the data amount, or we can consider those layers as filters, digital filters. And with digital filters, we have a lot of computations. That's why we got uh, such, a, such a timing. And what about uh, error? We are still OK. The number is, is worse, but we are still OK. Uh, so we can use this compressed model, and we can offer customer cheaper microcontroller. That's the goal, in fact, of all, all this action. OK, so this is the end uh, of this lab. We have uh, 15 minutes. So I will show you, because this, this, this application, from a practical point of view, is useless. We, we just valid, uh, validated uh, the model. So this is the, the main, 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 main goal. And now we need to know how to update the customer project with the new model, which is acceptable. And to do it, I will show you slides. It will be very complicated. You must be very focused. You need to be Windows Explorer experts. That's all. <laughs> we need to replace four files. That's all. Using Windows Explorer or whatever you like. We need to replace network data, so the file which consists of the, the coefficients, the, the, the weights, and we need and related header file, and we need to replace the network.c and related network uh, header file. It is API, uh, application programming interface, and then rebuild the project. That's all. You can follow me or not, because uh, the copy and paste uh, stuff is uh, as when you are doing it first time it can be tricky so you can follow me or not i will show you live we need two instances of the mm, uh, windows explorer so on the right side i'm putting the our destination so the customer project uh, we go to so in our case it is stm32 cube function pack so the set of examples function pack so i'm again i'm entering the, the root folder then middlewares then ST, then STM32AI library, ASC. OK, and we have include and source folder. Let's keep this, this view. On the left side, I will put our source. So the previously just generated project consisting of our new model. So in my case, it is validate and N6. In your case, it is validate and N. On the left side. And here again, validate an N, middlewares, ST, AI, AI. OK, let's keep this view. And let's start. Uh, the structure of the folders is different. It's, it's good from some point of view, and it is, it is problem from another point of view. It's good because it is a simulation of real life. For sure, the, data st the folder structures of the customer project will be different than the than the one generated by CubeMX, so you can practice. Uh, let's start from the include files on the destination side. Uh, so it is it is customer project on the right side, and I'm opening, double clicking on include. I need to delete the previous job from the previous workshop. Okay, so the good practice you can follow it or not. The good practice is to mark uh, the old model as as an old one, just in case. 
So we can add uh, underscore old extension or whatever you want. Or you can just delete all the stuff, up to you. And then we need to locate new just generated header files uh, on, uh, on, on our source site. So the kubemix generated project. So within the data, we can see network data.h. I can copy it and paste. And now I need to locate the network.h. And it is located within the include folder on the source site. copy and paste that's all so we already rep replaced the include files the header files then the last step is to rep replace the source so I'm at entering the de my destination the customer project deleting the old stuff from the previous workshop then I'm marking the the old files as a uh, old old ones and on left side of the screen so the Cubemix project the updated model I'm looking for the network data.c so within the data subfolder I can find network data.c so I'm copy paste it and within source on the Cubemix project, I can find network.c project. Copy and paste to the destination. That's job is done. And now the last technical step is to rebuild the project. So I need to come back to the root folder and I need to enter the projects BL475 applications sensing EWARM and I need to start IR. Okay. Just one button, F7. Okay, so I just build, <laughs> build the project, but and I cannot download it now from the IR uh, level because, uh, as Guillaume uh, mentioned, we have bootloader, dedicated bootloader, linked to the particular area of the flash memory and we have application linked to the different area of, of the memory uh, and i will use the the script to download to flash the project and stlink command line so uh, the, the script is located in the same folder as the project file clean sensing one but i'm just clicking And coming back to, to, to terminal, we have three minutes, so I will show you. File, new connection. And reset. And now uh, I will use command line as a vintage way. I like it. So blue button. And Okay, so you can see that it is still functional. Let's wait several seconds. Or please just start talking now. Because it, it is silence and the network model is so simple and not so clever. Oh. Okay, 